Hi, I'm Danny, pre-sales technical engineer here at Lamaz Tech. Today, we're gonna to have a look at our KVM control room solution. This is ideal for control rooms, network operation centers, and command centers, where you've got multiple operators required access to multiple systems all at the same time. Here we have our KVM input module. As you can see, we have ethernet port for PoE powering and for network connectivity. We have our USB host port, which is connected to the host PC or host device to give you mouse and keyboard input. And we also have a HDMI input on the back. This is what carries the video through to the operator output module. Here we have our operator output module. As with the input module, it has an ethernet port for PoE powering, a HDMI and DVI output depending on your requirements and it also has our mouse and keyboard USB ports. These modules can also be powered by a DC power supply but if you're putting a gigabit PoE switch in it removes the requirement for the extra power supply. Here we have our KVM node. This is what allows the system to communicate with the video wall displays. Again these are PoE powered on the back and also have a HDMI output and an input. Here we have one of our operator output modules. As you can see the operators are all prompted with a login screen. We can assign individual permissions to each operator such as view, share and different permissions to push to different displays. I'm going to quickly log in with a test user account here so you can see how a user would log in. Once we click menu, we would first be greeted with our permissions configuration screen. If the user has admin permissions and they can assign permissions to other users, this is where they would go to do that. I'm going to press escape to go back. If we press escape again, it will come out of the login screen put into our inputs that we have available. As you can see, I have not only the input displayed, but I also have mouse control and keyboard control available to me. As you can see, when I've applied the filter to the altitude, the amount of items available on the screen was limited. I can now press control again to go back. As you can see down the right hand side of the screen here, I have different view permissions. So for instance, if I want to just view an input, I just hit spacebar. This time I have the input video displayed but I don't have any mouse and keyboard control over that input. Press control again, I'll come back to that original screen. If we double tap shift, this is where we can push the operator's inputs out to different displays within the system. So for instance, if I wanted to display this on a certain section of the screen, I would select my required input and then use the full push command to push it out to a desired screen that we wanted to show on. We also have the KVM control panel overview screen. This shows all the different inputs that would be available to a user to control. The users can double click on these inputs and it will take them straight into that. Again, this gives them mouse and keyboard control if they have the required permissions to do so. We'll now look at the interaction between the input module over on the table on the left, the operator output module on the screen in front of me, and how that reflects on the video wall behind. So as long as the user has the correct permissions, we can go in to the input module from the operator's output module. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're using a flight tracker simulator. You can see I have full interaction with any of the planes shown. I can click in and view the details. 
This is also reflected on the video wall. If I go into one of the filters, you'll see that this is reflected in real time by reducing the amount of aircraft shown on the flight tracker. Thank you for watching. As you can see, our IP-based KVM solution is ideal for use in command centers, CCTV control rooms, simulation rooms, and network operation centers. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.